Hello, this is Monsamaki21 here with another video update for you guys. Today is October 22nd and it is almost Halloween. So, um, just gonna let you guys know right now. If you are planning on going out on Halloween, trick or treating, or um, going to parties or whatever, just be careful. Halloween is a very dangerous time to be out on the street. People do some crazy things, like to get into trouble, things of that nature. You gotta be careful. So, um, anyway just gonna get right into things make this video as short as possible but knowing me I'm just gonna ramble on about stuff like I'm doing right now um, Yakuza 3 my current let's play the only thing I'm really working on right now because I don't have any Microsoft points to get any of the other stuff in terms of uh, The Walking Dead which is on part 4 I haven't even done part 3 yet it's already part 4 and there's it's a five part episodic game <laughs> so it's almost done and I can't even continue it because I don't have the Microsoft points so I'm a little sad. <laughs> um, uh, Claptrap, stop that. Um, so, yeah, Yakuza 3. I actually did a recording, like a long recording, probably like a good week or two ago. And um, I uploaded the last part of that recording five days ago. It was part 76. And um, it's like, wow, 76? I'm really deep into this Let's Play. I don't even think I'm halfway done with the game, so there's probably a lot more to come. So um, be on the lookout for that if you are enjoying watching and enjoying my, my Yakuza Let's Play. Um, and all my other stuff, as I said, I'll, I'll get to as soon as possible. So um, moving on... <laughs> actually want to talk about uh, what's going on right now on the screen as you can see Borderlands 2 no this isn't like a surprise little sneak peek of me going to do a Borderlands let's play no because obviously everybody and their mom is doing it. I don't want to do that too and I would have to get like three other people to do it with and I'm just not I'm just not <laughs> willing to do that I don't want to so um, I will tell you guys what's been going on lately uh sorry that i keep stopping i was just doing something um someone actually donated me a copy matter of fact two people donated me a copy of borderlands 2 and i'm really mad that two people had to donate me a copy it's really sad um the first person got me like a pre-ordered version of the game i'm really upset i didn't get that because then i would have been able to uh i think get the necromancer i think you get the the necromancer if you um pre-order the game you get it for free i don't remember like came out you get it for free instead of having to pay for it and um, now if I want the Mechromancer I have to pay 800 Microsoft points so yeah one of my Twitch TV viewers decided to get me a copy of Borderlands 2 and they shipped it it never got here long story short it didn't get here so um, and uh, we're both really upset I'm upset that he, he ended up spending money his hard-earned money to buy me a game and it gets lost in the mail and he's upset that they're telling him that it got here but it never did so we're, we're both pretty furious about this and I'm just like full of apologies right now because I'm really it's it's ridiculous how it just gets lost in the mail like that so uh, another one of my twitch twitch uh, viewers heard me talking about it and he was like hey I'll get you a copy and I was like you sure he's like yeah yeah I mean she, I'm saying he. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, I don't know why I said he. And um, she eventually uh, sent, it's, it's a regular copy, so it's, it's, it's not the pre-ordered one or the special limited edition or anything like that. So it's just the base game. I'm not mad about it because it, it wasn't like I really wanted any of that special content. The Mechromancer, yes, I actually wanted to play as the Mechromancer because she sounds like a cool character to be. But um, outside of that, the other characters I don't really care for. Um, so I got the copy she sent me on uh, Saturday. I didn't check my mailbox until Sunday, so I didn't play the game until Sunday. But it was here Saturday. And um, just I just want to thank you both for... Um, sending me said game um i just want to apologize again jake sorry that it didn't get here and, but if you're still willing to send me a game you can send me a copy of resident evil 6 i will be so grateful for you forever <laughs> but um 
but yeah thank you both for uh sending me a copy of borderlands 2 i really appreciate it even though it's like october at this point like late october about to be november so like people have already played this game and like finished it at this point <laughs> but um but yeah i i um i'm really grateful that people are willing to send me games to play it's so nice of them I've been playing this for a few hours, not today, but I did play it yesterday for a few hours with a friend, and um, I probably will never do that again because of how he plays. We're, we're playing, and he, we find, he finds like a, a weapon cache, and before I even get to the weapon cache to see what's in there, he's like, ooh, I'm taking this. And I'm just like, I couldn't like see the gun before you picked it up, and he's like, oh, I can show you. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to see it after you pick it up because obviously you're still going to want it. <laughs> Like, let me see what it is prior to anyone, like, the way how I play is, like, I don't mind if people take guns, like, just take guns, but I want to see what it is first. I want to, because you never know, I, there it might be a really good shotgun, because I like using shotguns, it might be a really good shotgun, and, um, like, he was playing as a commando, I'm playing as El Salvador, El Salvador, <laughs> Salvador, <laughs> and, um, he, he's playing as com the commando guy, I don't remember his name. And I'm playing as the Gunzerger, and I, want, I like to use when I'm, whenever I'm playing as the tank character, because I, I played as Brick in the first game, and he's like pretty much the tank character. I use rocket launchers, shotguns, stuff like that. Those are the types of weapons I like to use whenever I'm playing as these characters. So, um, um, with this guy, I want to do the same thing: rocket launchers, shotguns, any anything that's heavy, powerful, because that's how I see a tank should be playing. And like before I even get to see the gun, it's like. He picks it up and it was a shotgun too and that really ticked me off because those are the weapons that I'm looking for. I don't really care for assault rifles or sniper rifles or pistols or anything like that. I want the shotguns. I enjoy the shotguns and the rock launch. We haven't found any rock launches yet since we've been playing, but the shotguns. <laughs> but um, outside of that, the game, I, I did enjoy playing it. Um, the dialogue <laughs> is great. Claptrap is funnier in this than he was in the first one, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of uh, reoccurring characters from the first game. You got Moxie, and um, you got Scooter. Um, you got the cast from the first Borderlands, the playable characters. I really don't remember their names outside of Brick, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, and Mordecai. I know Brick and Mordecai. I don't remember. I think the, the commando was Roland, and... Um, the siren was uh, Lilith. I think the I I just said I didn't remember their names yet. I just said all of their names. But um yeah, they got reoccurring characters. The story is even better in this one. I mean, the first one didn't really have a story, in my opinion. Like obviously, like the 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 story was really you're a vault hunter. You want to find this vault and get all the treasure in it. This one is a little bit more deep, especially in terms of dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue that. It's very enjoyable to listen to, <laughs> very funny. Um, Handsome Jack is hilarious, and um, Claptrap, hilarious as usual. And um, yeah, I, as I said, I've been enjoying the game. I, I haven't even used the Gunzerker ability yet. Like, I did not put my skill points up until I finished playing yesterday. I was already level 10, and I was just like, eh, I'm gonna put my skill points in places now. And I finally did, and I <laughs> I got the Gunzerker ability, but I never used it, so I don't know how it works. Because when I was playing with my friend, he was like, he was throwing down turrets, and I'm like, you're throwing down turrets? Like, what are you doing? And he's like, yeah, that's my ability. He's like, yours is to dual wield two guns. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. And he's like, why don't you do it? And I'm like, I haven't put my skill in. I was sitting on like five skill points. <laughs> that's what I do whenever I play games like this. I did the same thing in Torchlight. I literally sat on like 65 stat points and like 16 skill points when I was playing um, Torchlight 2. And it wasn't like I was having any issues with in terms of killing things or dying or because my health was fine. I wouldn't die. I was doing enough damage to kill things, so I didn't really have to put anything up, which is weird. So um, I was just like breezing through it. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm here rambling on about stuff. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. So I got Borderlands 2 now. I am willing to play with anyone who wants to play. Only thing is, you can't be high leveled. I will play with you, but you have to be on my level. So level 10, you can be level 11, level 12, level 13. I don't mind. But if you are, if you if you want to play with me and you're like a level 40, level 50, 
level 30, level 20, I don't want to play with you. It's, it's just... Because then you're overpowered. That, that's, that's basically how I see it. Because um, I'm pretty sure this game does not have that ability that, that um, Dead Island has. Where like if you're level 50 and you're playing with level 10, you will see level 50 zombies. Instead of seeing like level 10 zombies. So it makes the game fair, even though you're playing with like a really low level person. So um, I'm pretty sure Borderlands 2 does not do that. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on this. So um, if you do play with your... Uh, if you do play with other people and they're like really high levels and um, <laughs> you're, you're level 10 they're just gonna see like level whatever level that mission is like let's say the monsters on that level are like level 11 they'll see monsters at level 11 <laughs> so they can kill things with like one hit which is horrible what is going on back there <laughs> anyway I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on as I said, you can uh, play with me if you'd like. Xbox 360. Anytime. Um, I just want to actually talk about one more thing. The new dashboard for the 360. I still haven't gotten it myself yet. But my friends have it. And the thing is, I find this very weird. How both of my friends get it. Things, the thing is, they're both silver. How do two people who are silver accounts get, <laughs> get the new dashboard? Yet I don't get it. I've, I've been a gold account for like five years. So, I don't understand that. I don't know. They're, they're obviously rolling it out slowly, but the thing is, these two people live, like, right next door to me. So, it's like, they can get it, but I can't. I don't understand that. But, as I said, it's being rolled out slowly, so people are getting it over a period of time. And, um, I'll, I'll eventually get it. I've seen it. I've gone to my friend's house and played, played games, and I've seen it. I don't like how it looks. They're trying to do that whole Metro style that Windows 8 is using. They're trying to make it blocky and disgusting and I don't like it I liked the dashboard how it was originally the the blades one the first one I like that one that one wasn't bad the NXT it wasn't bad but like as they got into this new one and because they're trying to make it more connect friendly and that's what makes it bad like they messed up Netflix Netflix was great prior to being made connect friendly they removed the functionality of being able to like have party Netflix like you can like watch a movie with like your friends like you can still do that but it's not as good as it was like you can you can have a movie going or or a TV show or whatever in a party like you got the party leader he'll choose whatever you watch and you guys you can watch it but now it's like to do it 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 makes it much more horrible so like if you want to watch the same thing the same uh, someone else is watching you both have to select it separately and just kind of watch it at the same time but outside of that it's it's not as interactive is what i'm trying to say netflix was great for the 360 like i had no other reason to use netflix for the 360 other than to watch stuff with my friends because at that point it was awesome <laughs> it was like really awesome to watch stuff with people so, like, once they remove that party functionality, it's like Netflix for the 360 is useless now. Netflix for the PC is better than the 360 version. Only reason why I used it was that party functionality. But now that, now that it, it doesn't have that anymore, it's like, it's, what's the point? Because the viewing, the viewing function is like 10 times better on um, the PC version than um, the, uh, the 360 version. Because when you get on the PC version, It'll show you, like, if you look into a certain genre of movie, it'll show you every movie that is in that genre. Compared to Netflix on the console, it'll show you, like, maybe a hundred listings in said genre. So, like, you'll, like, let's say I'm looking in the horror genre and there's, like, 400 movies in the horror genre. And I can see them all on the PC. If I go on the 360 version, I'll only see, like, a hundred of them in, in, that, in that list of, um of movies so if i if there's a certain like what i do is i don't like i don't go on netflix knowing what i'm looking for i i go on netflix and look at the movies that are there and i say i read the the little um the details of the movie and i'm like oh, this sounds cool i'll watch this but you can't do that with uh like if i look through all the movies and i see nothing here i like obviously there's more movies <laughs> but it's not showing them all so i can't go and look at them and be like oh I'll watch this one, but I can't, I can't find it. So basically, Netflix for the consoles is, you gotta know what you're looking for. And use the search function, know what you're looking for. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting into great detail for no reason. Once again, I apologize. <laughs>
as I said before, I will be doing some uh, Yakuza 3 videos in the near future, so um, be on the lookout for those. Also, a live stream of it. I will let you guys know when I do that. And um, once again, thank you guys for donating Borderlands 2. I appreciate it. And as I said, if you want to donate a copy of uh, Resident Evil 6, I greatly appreciate it. Or Microsoft points. I'd really love to do my other Let's Plays. really need some Microsoft points. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.